Today we're gonna uh, show you how to install the thick fat pads from MPC stuff onto the Native Instruments Machine Studio. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and show you now. All right, now we're, we're gonna show you how to do this. You're gonna look at the back of your machine. Uh, as you can see here, we have ours propped up on a piece of foam, that way nothing on the front gets messed up. Um, in your house, you might use something like a pillow or something of that nature. Um, we're gonna need to remove the screws that are uh, on the back side here. You're gonna see them all around, you're gonna see they're a bit visible. You're gonna see one here that isn't visible and it's covered by this warranty void if damaged or removed. Um, Native Instruments does have the, um, if they want to, they can void your warranty if you open up the unit. So do keep that in mind if you are gonna install the pads, there's a possibility that they could void your warranty um, for putting new pads in. So that's something to think about when you're installing the pads. Um, if you don't want to avoid the warranty or you want to wait until you don't have the warranty anymore, um, that might be a possibility too, to wait till the warranty ends to install the pads. But totally up to you. If you want the better, uh, better pads, you can put them on and void your warranty. But uh, NPC stuff's not responsible for that. Now, once uh, you're going to take these screws out here, where I'm pointing, see this one where the warranty is, here. And once you get those out, um, I'll go to the next step. All right, once you have them all out, you can pull this up. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. You might see that you didn't get some all the way out if you didn't pull them all the way out. But once you have them all out, you'll be able to open this up and get to the inner part. And then we're gonna go to the next step here. All right, our first step is gonna be to take these three off the jog wheel portion here. Uh, the best way to do that is you just take these three out with a screwdriver and you're gonna lift up. It's gonna give you a little resistance at first, but that's because the jog wheel on the other side is holding the pot down. Uh, as you can see, it's just slips onto here and now we have the jog wheel off. So now we're gonna take that, put that aside so we don't lose it along with the screws with that. And we're gonna go on to the next portion. Now you're gonna see on this unit, you're gonna see all these uh, black screws. Where you see the black screws, next to them you're gonna see a little screw hole. That's gonna tell you that a screw goes in there for this green board. This will help you out for later because you're gonna only take these ones out because when you're putting them back in, you don't wanna put them in here or here or here because no screws go in there when this green board is being put back on. And that's what the little screw thing tells you that's next to each one. So now we're gonna take out each one that has a screw next to it on this green board. All right, now that we have all the screws out, where we have the little screw mark, um, we're gonna take this and you're gonna see right here is where the LCD screen comes in. There's two little clips here that pull back, they're black on each side. Just pull back each of them and that will allow you to pull back the ribbon here and loosen that. That way this board will release. Um, then you're gonna turn your unit back over and you're gonna pull off all the knobs like I've already done on my unit here. So pull those all each up and then make sure you hold this backboard on while you're turning around because it might fall out since those knobs are no longer holding it there. So now that we have everything not holding, you're gonna turn around to this side. I'm gonna show you how to get this area off so you don't mess anything up. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to pull off our power button. You're gonna see from the top on the other side here, the easiest way would be to push the outer edge of that button. Be careful not to break it, it's fragile. So we're gonna push on it so it comes off. So that way you get your power button off of the switch. Now we're gonna push the switch in, as you can see here, so now it'll clear when we're trying to lift up here. That is an issue that you're gonna have if you try to keep that power button on you're not gonna be able to get this off over here. So once you have it tilted, you're gonna to need to get the USB port pushed back a little bit on your casing and these right here. So I'm gonna show you now how we're gonna do that. All right, now when working this front panel, you're gonna see that this the USB port is a little bit in there. So you're gonna to have to tilt this forward just ever so slightly while pulling this board backward to get that portion loose. 
and that will allow you to pull out this board here. That'll give you access, as you can see on here, this is where all, our, all the good stuff is. Now we're gonna pull that out, now that gives us access to the pad sensors. If you need to change your pad sensors, uh, we sell pad sensors at npcstuff.com. Uh, if yours are worn out, and as you can see, this is the side that you want to go towards the um, towards the sensor, the non-shiny side. The shiny side goes towards the pad. You're going to remember that for when you change out your pads. Now we're just going to take out our pads, and we're going to put in our new ones. Okay, as you can see, we have our new pads. Uh, these ones are not out yet. These ones are prototypes. Um, they're, they have the black tops to them. Um, these ones don't have the rubber yet on them. They're just uh, screened. So we're just testing these ones out. So we're going to go ahead here and take our thick pads and put them in the studio just as the other ones were. You'll see right here is your uh, corner that's flat. So you're going to go ahead situated you have to lift up the thing to make sure they all come through so now that you have them all through like I said you're gonna have to keep it situated like that or they'll come up but then you're gonna take your sensors remember the sensors go shiny side down flat colored side up towards the sensor the flat goes to the sensor the shiny goes down here um, same thing here, we're going to find our edge, put it just like that, and put them back down. So once we have that all set, we'll be able to lift up here, and then we can put our, all our stuff back here. So now we're going to go ahead and show you when we put the, um, put the other stuff back on our, our unit. It's going to be basically the opposite direction, opposite way we started. Now we're going to take this, put it back on might take a minute to get everything situated in the right areas where it goes on the front side. But same thing here. The one thing you're gonna make sure is, is exactly what I just didn't do. Uh, make sure that you have your LCD portion pulled up right here. That way you can get at this when you're ready. And now we're gonna go to the next step and I'm gonna show you how to push it down. All right, now that we're on, you're gonna see, we're just gonna try to get back in the little area that we were in here before snap back and you'll see on the top side here you want to obviously want these to line up with the holes so you're gonna do the same back over here make sure everything snaps down once everything seems like it's in the right spot and you can see where all the holes can go in you're gonna check your pads and everything else on the front side make sure everything looks right make sure you know here you can see we have the pads are good uh, all the pots are set up right uh, none of the buttons seem like they're off make sure that's all good there and remember you're gonna lift up a little bit. That way you can put some of the screws in here before you put the pads down. If you put the pads down, then it's gonna lift the PCB board up. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna start with angled and we're gonna go ahead and put in a few of the screws while it's angled to keep our board in. It'll only take a couple Kind of different areas here you're also looking at uh, again the same way you're going to put them only where you see the screw holes i'm sorry the, the screw picture rather, and the holes of course so i'm putting these back in where i see the screw picture now that i have a few in the board's not going to come back up so i can put it back down on whatever i'm setting it on and do the rest of the screws. So again, when we're putting this board back on, we're only putting the ones that are labeled with the little screw mark next to it. So, next we're gonna do is before we finish all those, same way this came in, you're gonna push back in and then push back each clip to hold it down in there. That's for the LCD screen. So now we have that, everything's set here. We're gonna put the rest of our screws in where the screw pictures are now and go to the next step. All right, now that I've got all my screws back in where the screw drawing is next to them, uh, we're all set. We'll end up with three black screws left 
and then our silver screws from the, uh, the top plate. So now we're gonna go ahead here. You're gonna see that this piece has a little area for the prongs here to go into. So we are going to put this on just like this. Just be careful to make sure the prongs are going in. So my prongs are in. Now I just need to put three screws back here. Now that's on there, we're going to put our back plate back on. So next I'm going to show you to put the back plate back. Alright, so now I'm setting the back plate back into the right area. That's, there it goes. It's a little weird. Uh, and then now we're going to put all our screws that we took out. Back in here. So I'm not going to show you that, uh, but we're just going to take the silver screws that we took out, the silver ones go in the back plate, and we're going to put those all in now. Alright, now we have our screws all back in, and we're going to flip our unit back over. Uh, one thing I want to note is these are the prototype pads, so they're just screened. Uh, the real ones are going to look better than this. They're going to have the actual top piece built in. It's actually going to be uh, rubber instead. So I just wanted to let you know that way. Uh, ones that you will get will not look like this if you do get the new style um, color topped pads uh, right now we only have the um, full color pads that are just one color that are clear like the original ones um, so then the last step here is going to be to put all your knobs back on uh, make sure you have this one on right D shape pointing the proper direction push that down then you're gonna grab all your other drug wheels Thicker pads installed here onto the Native Instruments Machine Studio. The last step here is uh, we've already put ours in, but the last step will be you're going to take your power button and push it in just like it was before with the squared one in, and then push it in a few times, and then you're all finished. And these are the thick fat pads for the Native Instruments Machine, and they fit on the Machine Studio, and that's how you install them. You can get these pads at mpcstuff.com.